What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we are going to be talking about the interesting stuff going on with the official announcement of the Sugo Fest, the Celebrating the Long Voyage Super Sugo Fest featuring Luffy, Lauren, and Kid. We all know what's coming up right about now. Um, they've made the two separate banners uh, distinguishing part one and part two, three and four. As I said in yesterday's video, I, I still hate the fact that they're separating uh, parts 2, 3, and 4 24 hours after part 1. I just think it's the stupidest thing ever. But, uh, you know, there's just, like, there's not really much other information at the moment aside from just, like, you know, oh, these are the characters that are going to be boosted. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and create a full infographic for these because that's a, it's a lot to ask. But if someone does end up making an infographic, I might make a video talking about which part is the best um, because there's a lot of things to talk about here. But we see that Gecko Mori is actually going to be boosted on this part, which is obviously a more of a, of a newly released unit. So that's something interesting to note. Um, but the thing about this one is, is that it is confirmed on... On part one that all Sugo Fest exclusive characters are going to be appearing so that's gonna obviously influence the rates of each individual unit on that banner we will have to wait and see what it's actually going to be but the fact that every legend is available does skew it in a bad favor um, the thing is is it is a 15 chance a 15 percent chance to get a red all legends are gonna be in that part there are boosted reds for part one it's not like every unit's gonna have the same rate there are boosted reds but it does include uh, you know Roger Odin Luffy law and kid so I would hope that the chance to get Luffy Luffy, Law, and Kid will exceed what it would be to get either one of them on their individual banner. If that is the case, then I actually might do some pulls on part one because that will enable me to get a higher chance at one of the new units. And then from there, I can decide on which banner I wanted to pull on. But it does come down to the rates. And honestly, I don't think many people should be choosing to pull on part one. It just doesn't seem like the best idea. I do think selecting either two, three, or four is what most people should be doing in order to get the higher chances for those units that they're missing. But it does also confirm that on parts two, three, and four, there are going to be 30 legends available on each individual part. Obviously, the characters will change with each part. But I do believe Roger and Odin are on every single part of the Sugo Fest. I believe it was actually mentioned. Uh, if we scroll down here, yeah, so you can see parts two, three, and four that Goldie, Roger, and Odin will be on each of those parts, meaning that if you did miss them earlier on in the year, or if you're a new player to the game, or you're a returning player that weren't out when they were when we're playing when they were out, you can go ahead and get your opportunity to get Roger and or Odin on any part of the Sugo Fest, which is good because as I've said in many videos, I still currently believe on global that Roger is the best legend in the game, and the fact that he's gonna be on, on all those Banners is really really good to see but what isn't good to see is these gem sales now a lot of people including myself have been talking about these gem sales and we're just not very happy and we're not satisfied at all with what these gem sales are providing I talked about it again yesterday when we had the data download for all this stuff but the fact that we're getting the exact same Sugo Fest structure as Japan meant one of two things in my head anyway that uh you know potentially one of the some of these uh multis along the way were going to be one gem multis but they weren't stated we have that has come to be false there are no one gem multis at all in this banner at all no one gem multis another thing it was is i was kind of hoping that you know okay we've got japan's structure potentially we might get japan's rainbow gem sale i was also wrong there so that's a pretty big bummer so if we go down here we can see that there is a limited pack that gets you 95 rainbow gems it also gives you a legend ticket that gives you a recent legend at max special level so when it says a recent legend i believe it mentions it here um the recent one will include characters that have made their debut from january 1st 2020 to august 25th 2021 so it's not even a 12 month red it's more than that it's like <laughs> what is that like almost like a 20 month legend so that's kind of annoying um but the thing about it is right it says august 25th 2021 1900 pst i believe it doesn't include bonnie so that's kind of lame there's no bonnie on that ticket so that's lame but then you've got a treasure cruise feast an almighty manual times two and then uh, that's that's it like that's that's the pack 95 gems and and those goodies if this pack costs uh, the same as a regular 85 gem pack which in australian dollars is 84.99 i think it's 54.99 in the states if that pack costs the same as that i don't think it's that good but then again if you're missing one of those legends in that in that period that's shouldn't be too bad for you 
But then you got another pack which gives you 65 gems, two stamina meats, and an almighty manual that you can only purchase two times. And then you got these packs right here. So you can see you got one where you got 110 gems. This will likely cost the same as the, the $54.99 gem pack in the, in the States. And you got a 75 gem pack, a 38 gem pack, and also a 10 gem pack. The thing about it is, is that Japan's gem sales are so much better in almost every way. So it's so, so heartbreaking that we have a Sugo Fest that requires us to spend so many gems to get these units, but the gem sales just don't correlate to what Japan got either. Um, typically what they've done in the past is that when they've brought a, a Sugo Fest from Japan over to Global, yeah, the Global gem sales do not match Japan, but what they've done is they usually give us more discounted multis to offset some of the expenditure that global players will have to do and they just haven't done it here at all so they've brought out this huge celebration they know people are going to spend their gems on it and they just didn't even give us any discounted multis so i mean i just want to just make this video to let you guys know that this this sugo fest does seem to be a bit of a money grab and I, I hope you guys are understanding of what the situation is here the fact that the gem cells don't seem to be the best on top of the fact that there's no discounted multis so you're spending 50 gems every single multi except for that first one which is discounted at least at 30 gems kind of annoying so what you guys are seeing right here is over on the Discord server. This is what the Japan gem sale was when they had this celebration. So they had these regular gem sales. You can purchase like 11 gems for 120 yen. That's basically like a dollar. You could do that four times. Then like $10 for 33 gems, which you could purchase seven times. And this one was like, I said, if you go by US dollars, this is like around like 20 to $25 for 57 gems, which you could also purchase seven times. And you see these amazing packs. Global just don't get any of these, which is just bizarre. And then you've got these ones, which are regularly like, what, 50, around $50 for 100 gems? Like, in terms of Australian prices coming from me, this is absurd. I wish we had gem sales as good as this. Then there's this one, basically $20 for 77 gems, two stamp meets, and a universal book. What? That is absurd. And then like 3,000 yen for 55 gems and a legend ticket. And then they had the 5,500 yen for 100 gems and a legend ticket. And then all the skill books and all the goodies there. And then they also had the 200 gems for the 10,000 yen plus a two legend tickets and then a third legend ticket as well and then they've got like these other standard ones which gave uh, rumble scrolls at the time as well for strength decks and quick 2500 yen for 42 gems so again like just all of these gem packs are amazing and globals ones are just they just don't compare the ones that they have are just amazing and if we had these gem sales i wouldn't be as upset as what i would be um but i think that the fact that global's gem sales are what they are it's just so expensive to go the same length on the sugo fest as what it did for the japanese players like it just doesn't cost as much to do it um so i'm not really happy about that at all and then even going back to the world crew celebration on global we actually did have like these similar gem packs you're seeing here but there was actually a 300 gem pack i can't remember off the top of my head how much it cost it was either like 200 australian dollars or 160 australian it was something in that ballpark which was an absurdly good pack if you just go by the amount it costs per gem this was like the best pack that they've ever released and in world crews they never they, they never brought it back since then um and then here was just some of the prices these were the australian prices so they're not going to be the exact same for you but you know these gem packs look pretty amazing and I, I think that global will be getting this for this upcoming celebration um the, the at least the 110 gems for the 84.99 australian dollars this should be the exact same but just showing you some of the prices of course and then when we had the sixth anniversary with luffy and sanji earlier this year in february this year there were these other packs that gave like 200 gems and then legend tickets and such and then 100 gems for like a legend ticket and other stuff like we never got these again like why wouldn't they just bring out another pack where you can get 200 gems and all these other goodies and then they're just giving us a 95 gem pack this time that probably is going to cost like what 84.99 australian dollars 54 dollars american and we're only getting 10 gems more than what the regular pack would be i just it doesn't sit well with me i just i don't understand why they're not being as generous because these sugo fest are not very generous at all like there's no discounts so that's really rough for a lot of players man and uh this was also during the sixth anniversary celebration you see luffy and sanji pack is here and there's another 300 gem pack for one purchase time we just never got this ever again so it's just very confusing as to why 
we're just stuck in the situation that we're in. Um, so hopefully something is said about it. I don't think they're really going to be doing anything at this point. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a bit of a heads up. Just saying that this Sugo Fest is not as, as generous as what we think it really is. So hopefully you guys learned something in this video and you guys understand the situation and just be very mindful and be very careful about how much you're actually going to be spending in this banner. Um, just after seeing all of this stuff, I don't think I'm going to be going for all three. Uh, I really wanted to get all three because I wanted all the, all the units to make some really awesome content with. But I mean, with showing how expensive it is, there's just no real reason for me to do that at this point. I think I'm going to go for lore at the very, at the very minimum. I'm going to get lore in this Sugo Fest. Um, and then hopefully just fingers crossed potentially get Luffy or Kid like super early on the, on the banners, but doubt that's going to happen. But anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.